Hey, Nick Cruiser here, and it's been a long time since I showed my Zero Explorer. I've noticed up on the Zero support page that everything has new firmware, so I should download and upgrade my Zero. Everything's due for an update, so we have a 2017 gimbal update, a 2017 camera update, and a 2017 flight controller update. And uh, so I've downloaded these files, and I have them sorted. Now, when you download them, they they don't come with a very user-friendly name. So download them one at a time, sort them into the folder so you know what they are. Get the application running. So the Zero Assistant is how you update and you go to an upgrade page and it walks you through how to update. Some things you need is you do need a uh, USB-A to micro USB cable. You'll need that to do the flight controller and the flight controller gets updated through this little port here. So there's a micro USB up top for the flight controller. There's a micro USB here for the gimbal. And then to update the camera, you are going to need an SD card reader, a micro SD card reader, and you put the bin file onto the memory card. So I'm gonna start some of these upgrades now. First of all, I have the micro USB cable plugged into my computer and nothing is turned on right now. The battery's in the drone ready. I'm going to just power on my transmitter just in case. Now I'm going to turn the quadcopter on, okay, and now we're ready to start, start upgrade. So we're going to choose my, where to go, downloads, zero, and it's flight controller firmware, flight controller firmware, open, and now it's, now it's working. Now it's flashing, as in it's flashing the device. I think it's complaining because it's, um, I'm not sure why. That's a beep I've never heard before, to be honest. I don't know what that's about, but we're doing it anyway. <laughs> okay, so it says it's upgrade successful, 100%. Now power it off. Powered it off, and now I'm going to do the gimbal. So similar procedure. To press and hold the power on. There, that's better. Okay, now it's starting to act normal-ish. Um, now for the gimbal, I'm going to again bring up the menu find my file, gimbal firmware, flash the gimbal. Open, and now it's clearing flash, and it should start to update the gimbal. All right, gimbal is now upgraded. And now we power off the drone. Unplug the USB cable. And now the last thing will be the camera. So for the camera firmware, eject your SD card. And I'll put this in the SD card reader. Move the bin file that you downloaded for the firmware for the camera to the root of the SD card. Insert it into the camera and just power on the, the device and it will automatically upgrade itself. All right, so I've moved the binary file to the root of my SD card. I'm just going to uh, eject my SD card now. Get out of here. And take it out of here. And put it back into the camera. And then we'll power it on. All right, now I should be able to power this on and it should automatically upgrade the camera. As it starts to flash, it should do the firmware on the camera. So it's doing a flash, fast blink while it flashes, and now it's done. That's it. Zero Explorer is now 2017 updated and ready to fly. Okay, I just uh, verified that it is working after upgrading all the, all the firmwares, and uh, so we have the live video feed, which is in progress, and uh, it's, it's ready to go. Now, I did take a look in this software, which hasn't been updated very much. It's still very similar to what it was. I think it's had a very small patch or two. There's no good way of checking to find out what your firmware version is on your device. 
it's not very good at telling you that things are outdated or need to be upgraded. So just every now and then, if you own one of these, go to the support page and see if there is a new important upgrade for it. All right, 